Hello everybody and welcome back to the Metal Scrap channel. So, I asked you earlier this week at Monday, what kind of metal do you want to see melded? By 48% I believe. The winner was Nordic Gold, so I have everything for the Nordic Gold ready set up here. Got some uh, older cars I'm not happy with, so uh, gonna melt those. So the recipe will be 89% copper. So this is 89% copper, it's all by weight. Then we have 5% aluminium, 5% zinc and this tiny bit, 1% tin. I was lacking this, I got this tin from uh, one of my subscribers, so thank you for that. And of course, one of the poll answers was, enjoy a cup of coffee. So I'm enjoying a cup of coffee. And also I stated I was lacking some uh, time, a little bit, for nice projects, because I'm uh, busy with the family, and I'm uh, busy with welding school. So I got some uh, stuff, this is my second attempt of welding. I'm doing uh, TIG welding, TIG, or for the, uh, the US people, GTOR welding. That's uh, gas tungsten arc welding, TIG stands for tungsten inert gas. So this was my second attempt. Getting better and better. And this is the uh, product of yesterday's, my fourth lesson. Quite happy with the results so far and the progress I made. And it's a little bit rusty because I quenched the uh, project so the teacher can look at it. Don't want him to burn his fingers. Maybe I uh, will get a uh, unset for that. Right, so there might be some welding videos in the future. So sit back and let's melt some metals. All right, back at the furnace and I am currently preparing a new crucible. So it's in the furnace for about 20 minutes now. I will change it to a fuller bottle. The left bottle is a uh, half full bottle. The right bottle is almost empty. So change the bottle and fill up the crucible and make some Nordic gold. All right, first I will check if the crucible is still one piece. If it's still in uh, one piece, I will charge it up with copper, another copper, and then later on add the aluminium, zinc and the tin.
All right, so we got some Northern Gold ingots. Let's first start out with the biggest. Get it out of the mold. Second one, so I was hoping for three bars, but in the cast iron mold is just a uh, leftover. Man, this bar is looking awesome so far. All right, so here they are. Let's quench them. This is hot water, I'll be back with some cold water. Alright, back with some cold water. So let's see what we make. First start with the biggest one. So this is a real nice golden look. It's a little bit like aluminum bronze. The second bar, of course I will give these bars a wire brush. And a leftover. There's a lot of draws and slacks coming off. Hope I can remelt some of that, st uh, that stuff. And maybe I make some more of this stuff. Look at this. Let's give this stuff a wire brush. Alright, so I will not clean the small one. Uh, let's see how much we meld it. So the scales are at zero. We have a big bar. 895 grams. Medium sized bar. 481. And a small one of 97 grams. Gives us a total melt of. 1472 grams and I had a total of 1800 grams so quite uh, some uh, slacks and draws that came off I will not put them uh, in the safe I really like them but I have something else in mind with this so these will be uh, ingredients for something different probably gonna make some uh, more Nordic gold right making some end shots of this one these two well maybe this one too so you can see a color difference by not cleaning it this was it hope you guys enjoyed this video if so give this video a thumbs up leave a comment do not forget to subscribe and hit that bell button so you won't miss out on a melting video wish you all a great week and see you next week bye bye
Right guys, could not stand this. I only have two bars and a leftover. So we're melting some more. Some bonus. So, just did the pour, a bonus pour, our quincy's ingots, and I thank you for watching, have a great week, and see you next week, bye bye.